in terms of feel like you guys are maybe fresher than what you've ever ever been after having played three games? Um, yeah, well, I feel like, you know, just the fact that guys are getting an opportunity to play, you know, guys are able to have that rotation. I feel like it's good for us and it's a credit to those guys, you know, uh, be able to have that trust in them to go out and do their job and fly around and make plays. How is that paying off for, for, for you, if not now, at least going down the road? I mean, like, just uh, just knowing that, you know, we have, a, again, like a lot of group of guys that can go out there and be effective, but I, I definitely feel like it's going to help out in the long run just to, you know, make sure that we're fresh and just as long as we're hitting the standard, we'll be solid. How do you have to really adjust yourself when, you know, Kenneth Murray was there a couple weeks ago and said about wanting to play every snap, get on there and be on the field as much. When you play a game and just get over 30 snaps, how do you adjust your style of play, your mentality, when you guys are rotating as much as you are? Um, you know, the biggest thing that, that Coach Grinch, you know, always preaches is that, you know, whenever you're out there, um, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to make plays. So, you know, as long as you're out there, you want to make as much plays or, you know, just give all our effort for as long as you can for however opportunity present itself. So I feel like that's just the biggest thing, you know, take advantage of every opportunity, every down that you have on the field and try to make the most out of it. How much more of a challenge will it be for a defense that, you know, is on the road to improvement, has a new mindset and all that stuff, you guys might still be trying to find yourself, boom, you got to step into conference play, Big 12 conference play, and Texas Tech is the first one up. How much more of a challenge is it going to be this week for you guys on defense? I mean, we, we approach uh, every day, you know, uh, as a challenge, you know, we, we approach the fact that, you know, we, we got to be better. We got to be better at what we do. And uh, for us, the bottom line is just making sure that we're hitting our standard and uh, exceeding our standard. So I feel like as long as uh, we have that, keep that same focus, that same mentality, you know, we're going to keep uh, getting better. Can you describe those standards and identify what, what you're talking about there? Uh, just, you know, just making sure that, you know, we're, we're holding up our end of the bargain as a defense, just making sure, you know, putting our trust in each other, trusting the coaches, and, you know, just, again, everything we do, doing that at a fast and a strong pace. You know, your defense hasn't allowed a first quarter score all year through three games. What's it like to hold team scoreless and get that momentum for the offense after a, a first quarter? I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a good feeling, but, you know, uh, at the end of the day, you know, it, it's still early. Um, we, we still got to make sure that we lock in at home on what we need to do. Um, I feel like, you know, obviously as we continue to go through the season, we just got to make sure that we're building. You know, there's still a lot more work that we got to do and a lot of things that we got to be better at, but uh, it's football. Got to improve. Neville, you've been super disruptive uh, throughout the first three games, especially the last one. What's been the secret for you or what's been the key for you to, to become that kind of forceful player? Is it a mindset change? Is it the defensive scheme? Is it the, the loss of the weight? A little bit of everything? Um, yeah. Uh, I, I, like I said, it really just goes back to the standard. Um, you know, it's just my job, you know, just being here for as long as I have, you know, it's just my, especially being on a D line, you know, it all starts up front. Um, like I said, it's constantly to go all up in that top, but, you know, just as far as, you know, the work that I put in the summer or whatever now, up until this point, you know, it's starting to show a little bit, but still, like, you know, we, Big 12, st Big 12 play starts this week, so, you know, it's another opportunity just to get better at my craft. From a team leadership standpoint, Jalen really doesn't seem to think about stats at all. He just wants to win games. And now his name's coming up with the Heisman. What do you see him in terms of being humble and just focusing on football and not the things that are on the outside? Well, uh, yeah, you know, just just knowing Jalen, you know, again, not a big stat guy. You know, he just wants to win. He just wants it for not only himself but for the whole team. And, you know, that, that definitely, you know, that goes a long way. Um, I was just being on the same page, just uh, again understanding, you know, what we want to accomplish as a team, as a group. You know, he, he looks way bigger than that. You know, he kind of he drowns out the noise, doesn't really uh, listen to what you know what people tell him or what people have to say to him. You know, good or bad, he just as long as uh, it's for the greater good of the team or making sure that we play our best ball collectively. You know, he's all for that. So you know, again, all the all that extra stuff. You know, he doesn't really uh, care for that.